Charmed short series for you. When the three sisters, Prue, the controlling one, Piper, the neurotic middle child, and Phoebe, the erratic youngest, move back into the manor they grew up in after the death of their grandmother, they soon discover that they are witches, good witches, destined to be the best good witches, and they're gonna have to defend the world from evil, mostly in human form, or taking on human form, not actual human beings. The show is very much centered around characters and family. The human drama is really the core, and it is mainly a show for women, although there is a bit of eye candy for the males. The magic is also always very connected to feelings and family, which is something the show holds very dearly, and the episodes t tend to teach some moral lesson, which may be more or less obvious or you know, sometimes they are genuinely heartfelt and something that we sometimes kind of forget. They have a lot of fun with the villains, with, you know, some very hammy performances, and some of them are actually genuinely cool characters with interesting, you know, magical powers. The acting is quite good, especially for the main characters, the main cast. It is a bit of a feminist show, but not in any kind of really aggressive way, just that these women take care of themselves without the need of men. Uh, certainly no need of men's help to, you know, defeat these evil creatures that they face. The, the various mythologies and legends treated are done with a half halfway respect for the source material and at the same time poking some fun at it. So whether you love mythology or not, or downright hate it, it's, you know, it caters at least somewhat to your taste and it's more approachable that way. There are some really great characters and they, although the overall moral is a bit black and white, they do actually explore the gray areas of good and evil some. The first three seasons are the very best, but there are plenty of things that are really good after that point as well. And I would definitely recommend watching the season finale if you watched a good portion of the show, because it is one of the best season finales I've ever seen. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.